Jesse Davis is the Miami Dolphins' longest tenured offensive lineman but his days with the team could be coming to an end this year. To be honest, Davis is one of my favorite players on the team. He is selfless, team first doesn't complain, and does whatever job he is asked to do. I'm certain if Brian Flores told him to play center, he would spend the day working on assignment calls and snaps. The problem that Davis faces is that he is not flashy and while he can play both guard and tackle positions, he doesn't excel at anyone in particular. The Dolphins felt the need to upgrade those spots in spite of Davis starting. This year, I would think that Davis will make the roster once again but I can't be certain of that anymore. The Dolphins' additions of DJ Fluker and Jermaine Aluemunor will bring competition for one or two offensive line spots that will be on the line. The Dolphins also drafted Liam Eichenberg in the second round of last April's draft giving the Dolphins more depth. The additions of Larnell Coleman in round 7 and a fully guaranteed, albeit small contract to Robert Jones says that the Dolphins are looking towards the future and are staying young. Davis may be the old man on the Dolphins' offensive line at the age of 29 and that no longer works in his favor. Davis is entering his fifth season in 2021 and that is still young for a lineman but the fact he hasn't cemented a starting position shows that his value to the team is as a flexible backup that can be inserted at any time. That is a value you can't find with other players who are undrafted or seventh round picks. That being said, the Dolphins did bring in the two guys mentioned above, Fluker and Aluemunor. Those two are going to compete for a roster spot and with Robert Hunt, Eichenberg, Skura, Solomon Kindley, and Austin Jackson guarantees to make the roster, four spots remain between Davis and the rest of the team. This is not to say that Davis is going to lose his job, he isn't necessarily but Miami is going to take a longer look than they did last year when Davis was the only truly experienced lineman on the team. Now, that isn't the case and he is a little more expendable than in years past. Davis should make the Dolphins roster but he is going to have to compete for his spot and prove to the coaches that he is better than Fluker and Aluemunor as well as more viable to the team than the rookies they have brought in as well. It's going to be an interesting training camp for Davis and his position on the team is worth monitoring.